Good morning, parents, teachers, and friends. Before we start our presentation, I would have a question for you. What is the most popular gift on Valentine's Day? Well, it's an interesting question. Do you guys have any ideas? Parents, parents, hands up, hands up. Chocolate. You're right. It's chocolate. And do you know that chocolate is not only popular on Valentine's Day, but all over the year. I have a fun fact for you. Uh, in Britain, on average, each person eats about 11 kilograms of chocolate per year. That sounds a lot. And have you ever wondered how chocolate is made? If you are not sure, so today we will tell you about how chocolate is made from beans to bars. I'm Anna. I'm there. I'm ready. Cocoa, cocoa trees originated in South America but are now grown in Africa, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, Central America, and Northern Australia. Cocoa pots grow on a tree called the Obrama cocoa. When unripe, they are purple or green, turning orange and red as they are ripened. The pods are harvested and cut open. At this point, the seeds or beans are pale, bitter, and conched in thick pulp. Each pod contains 30 to 40 white beans. Beans and pulp are covered with banana leaf and left to ferment for a few days. Fermenting softens the flavor, melts away the pulp, and darkens the bean. The then, the beans are dry, either in the sun or artificially, over, over fire. Sometimes, red clay is added at this point to enhance the color and shine. Cocoa beans are shifted or forming objects shorter or and weighted. They are roasted in large oven to bring out more of the flavor. After crushing, the things are separate from the beans, leaving a pile of leaves. Then the beans are ground up to fan paste caramel cocoa liquor, which contains both cocoa solids and cocoa butter. The cocoa liquor is grounded and mixed until smooth. Sugar is added. The cocoa liquor is pressed into cakes and cocoa butter. The liquor is tempered by cooling several times. Lastly, finally, the liquor is poured into molds that can take the form of a chocolate bar. So that's all the journey of how chocolate is made. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, no question. <laughs> Thank you all for your listening. Thank you all for your listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. What is fair trade? What do you think fair trade is? Anyone know? Then, what do you think fair trade is for? No. No? <laughs> do you want to make your own fair trade? No. no. Yes. No. yes. Maybe. Introduction. Dream responsibly, dream fair. Farmers and workers have worked very hard for the fair trade. The fair trade is an important part of their lives since fair trade appeared. The trade. Once the beans are dried, farmers pack them into sacks and take them to the recorder. The recorder is responsible for weighing the beans and paying the farmers. The recorder. The recorder is elected by the farmers and holds a really important and trusted position in the village. They win the cocoa making store itself weighs 62.5 kilograms and pay the farmer. 
The recorder can be trusted and this makes a huge difference to the farmers who know they won't be too. <coughs> cocoa farmers are sometimes cheated when they sell cocoa to non-factory buyers who have fixed their weighing skill to show a lower weight than the actual weight of the cocoa beans. To make sure they are not cheated, their special weight stone weighs exactly 25 kilograms and farmers have their right to check the scales with the weight stone. Setting sail. The stars are loaded onto big lorries and taken to the port. There they are loaded onto cargo ships which set sail from Europe to a chocolate factory that specialists is making factory chocolate. Example of a fair trade chocolate. Fair chocolate. Rescue chocolate. Eating evil. Fun facts. 26% of all fair trade farmers and workers are women. Fair trade products are now sold in over 120 countries. 1,226 Producer organization across 74 countries. Now you've seen to know what is a fair trade and what it is for. Can anyone answer the question now? Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope you like it. introduce our PowerPoint about Cuckoo Pies. <laughs> Introduction. The part is really important to the proof inside of it. There are many interesting facts about a part. We will tell you now. It is a, a basic knowledge. But it is really interesting and easy to understand because we use simple words. The pots can make really good soap because they contain 3 to 4 percent of potassium. The color of cacao pots is bright yellow. When the pot isn't ripe, the color of the pot is yellow and when the pot is ripe, it's red and yellow. Cocoa pots start of green and turn bright yellow when they are ripe and ready to be picked. So coca cheese produce pot try a year between October to February and June to July. So the yellow spots can grow up to 35 cm long and all shaped like rugby balls. Cocoa starts off green and turn bright yellow when they are ripe and ready to be picked. As well as growing on branches, the pods sprout out from the trunk of the tree itself, which look quite strange. It usually takes between three, four years for a caca tree to matter and to produce caca pods. The cocoa pods have all important cocoa beans inside them. When the cocoa cheese is grow up, it can reach height up to 5 meters. Conclusion This is the end of fun facts of the pod. I am sure this information isn't enough for a pod, so you can research more in Google. Thank you.